now you know how to find the direction of the frictional force in various cases right the blocks two blocks whatever it is but now let's try and use that knowledge and our picture of formation of bonds and breaking of bonds to a very real life problem have you ever wondered when you're riding a cycle in which direction is friction acting on your wheels the road looks really rough right so there must be some friction acting then if it is is it acting forwards or is it acting backwards is it the same for the front wheel and for the back wheel there are multiple questions i just to ask right i want you to think about them the answer for these is what we'll see next to find the answer to this question let's do something really mischievous just when somebody is about to start their cycle right we bring in a giant who just lifts the cycle up with the handlebars and the seats and lets them pedal now they're pedaling the cycle but then the cycle is not in touch with the ground what will be happening one wheel will rotate for sure the back wheel because that's pretty much what you're doing with your legs right you're rotating that wheel but what will ha- happen to the front wheel it will not rotate at all it will be at rest now what the giant does is he slowly begins to lower the bicycle but not before making the road super smooth and slippery and putting a paper on it yeah so this means that the paper can just move either ways really really easily and then he tilts the bicycle a little bit and puts it on the road such that the front wheel touches but now is that anything meaningful is there anything eventful nothing right the wheel is not rotating it's just touching now it will remain that way it gets interesting when he does this when he puts the back wheel as well and the moment the back wheel touches the piece of paper something interesting is going to happen right because when initially the front wheel alone was touching there was contact but there was bonds were forming but nothing much happened but now when the back wheel is also touched and the bonds are forming between the back wheel and the piece of paper the back wheel is rotating right so it's going to move and along with that push the piece of paper in that direction and it's going to keep doing this new parts of the wheel are going to touch the paper form a bond push it and go back this continuously begins to happen and the paper is going to move that way but while that's happening what has to happen is that this paper that has formed bonds with the front wheel will start pulling that front wheel right so here the back wheel is pushing the paper that way but that's leading to the paper pulling the front wheel this way so after if you just look at it now it look like both wheels are rotating but one of them is the cause of this paper to move and the paper in turn creates the front wheel to rotate in the forward direction 